Hello my friends and welcome to our channel. Today let's speak about quantum. What is this and how it's used in the real life? If you are interested in quantum, watch this video till the end and I'm sure you will have no questions about what quantum is. So are you ready? Let's start. What is quantum? Quantum is an open source value transfer platform which focuses on mobile decentralized apps or DApps. Qtum is meant to be a bridge between Bitcoin and Ethereum functionalities. Bitcoin was designed to be a value transfer program, while Ethereum primarily is a smart contract platform. Qtum is a hybrid of a tool, a value transfer protocol which can also support dApps and smart contracts. It is being developed by the Qtum Foundation based in Singapore. History of Quantum In March 2017, Quantum launched a crowdfunding campaign to seek funds for the development of the new blockchain-based platform. The crowd share was scheduled to last 30 days or until all tokens were sold. Eventually raising a total value of 15.7 million before stopping the campaign early after only 5 days. They raised a total amount of 11,000 bitcoins and 77,000 Ather in exchange for the 51 million Qtum tokens being distributed in the public. It was the 18th highest crowdfunded project of all the time. As described in Qtum white paper, 51% of the coins were distributed to the public via the crowdfunding campaign. Of the remaining 49%, 29% of the coins would be allocated as a community incentives and the remaining 20% would be distributed to the early bakers and development team. This allocation will transition over the next few years to its final allocation of 20% to the bakers and the team and 80% to the community. The quantum software itself is a hybrid fork of the Bitcoin fork and an account abstraction layer which allows it to run with other virtual machines such as the Ethereum virtual machine. What does Quantum do? Quantum was designed to integrate the best part of the Bitcoin and Ethereum platforms into a business-friendly blockchain. Quoting Quantum's website, combining a modified Bitcoin Core infrastructure with an intercompatible version of the Ethereum virtual machine, combining a modified Bitcoin Core infrastructure with an intercompatible version of the Ethereum virtual machine, Quantum merged the reliability of Bitcoin's unfailing blockchain with the endless possibilities provided by smart contracts. So what does that mean? A smart contract is a computer program that is capable of facilitating, executing and enforcing the negotiation or performance of an agreement using blockchain technology. Think of it like a small program that can be set to automatically execute some predefined action. For instance, you could set a title of a car or house to automatically be transferred from one party to another after an agreed upon amount has been paid. This would in effect remove the need for an escrow or a trusted third party to ensure that both sides get what is agreed upon. What sets Quantum apart? Quantum is the world's first proof-of-stake smart contract platform. Quantum aims to be the world's premier smart contract platform and is focused on mobile development software. The problem with the proof-of-work model, the system implemented by both Bitcoin and Ethereum, is that it requires a large amount of CPU usage and therefore energy consumption which in turn leads to high transaction costs. It's estimated that globally both Ethereum and Bitcoin burn $1 million in energy costs per day. This is a problem Ethereum and Bitcoin are both gambling to fix. This is a factor which has led to Ethereum software forks in the past. In comparison, the POS system determines who will be awarded the block based on stake coins and other factors which promote the holder of the coin to be a part of the blockchain with less amount of waste. Ethereum aims to become the universal platform for smart contracts and dApps. However, as explained the Qtum blockchain economy white paper, Ethereum has some technical implementation challenges with Qtum looks to solve. One of these issues is that currently a user need to have synchronized the entire 
Ethereum blockchain in order to use an Ethereum software-based dApps. This is a big problem for devices with small amount of storage or low bandwidth is potentially leaving out a percentage of the mobile market. Today, about half of all total internet traffic in the world comes from mobile devices. Today, about half of all total internet traffic in the world comes from mobile devices. With the number of smartphone users predicted to increase from its current estimation of 2.1 billion people to 2.87 billion by 2020, having a killer app is a critical element to the mass adoption of blockchain and can't be neglected. Another problem Quantum is addressing is the relatively limited functionality Ethereum has. For an Ethereum smart contract to execute, the trigger for sequence to begin has to come from inside of the blockchain itself. This normally works great, but it also has some issues. Not everyone will likely be using Ethereum in the future, and even so there are some things which can't be captured onto the blockchain. Qtum looks to improve on this by implementing what Patrick Day calls a master contract. Qtum is making it possible to use triggers from outside the blockchain to initiate contracts. This will make their platform much more useful and adaptable to the real world. Other issues Qtum looks to solve include compatibility of differing blockchain technologies. For example, Bitcoin's UXTO and Ethereum's account models are not inherently compatible. A lack of identification functionality which would allow for increased industry compliance. The Quantum Team Quantum has assembled a strong development team and a powerhouse list of angel investors. Their team members have worked at large organizations such as Alibaba, Tencent and Baidu. Quantum's co-founders are Jordan Earls, co-founder and lead developer. Earl is a well-known member of the cryptocurrency community and has been developing software since he was 13. Patrick Day, co-founder. Day did his undergraduate studies at Draper University and earned a master degree from the Chinese Academy of Science. He was previously employed by Alibaba. Neil Mahi, co-founder. Mahi has over 20 years experience developing software and has 4 years experience in the blockchain space. Qtum has also has an impressive list of angel investors such as Antonio Di Euro, Chen Weixing and Jeremy Gardner. It is always a promising sign when industry leaders give funding to a startup. Competitors and challenges. Qtum is not without challenges. Two of its main competitors, Ethereum and Neo, are currently the second and the seventh coins by market cap respectively. Both of these coins have seen tremendous growth recently and are powerhouses in the cryptocurrency world. In addition, these coins are backed by an experienced development team and a strong community of followers supporting their growth. In an interview with Quantum co-founder Jordan Earls, Earls responded to the question of competing against Ethereum and other platforms by saying We believe that we have some of the best technology in the industry, given that more than 10 devs plan to build on Qtum and we just launched the main network Ignition last month. Right now, we are the first proof-of-stake smart contracts platform, which is a huge achievement given this seems to be where the trend is going. Even so, Qtum has a way to go before the devs are ready for market use. It is worth mentioning that one of the co-founders, Patrick Day, was accused by a former associate of having been involved in a BitBay-related scandal. Articles on GitHub and Smith and & Crown have addressed these allegations, concluding that there doesn't appear to be any evidence to support these claims. Furthermore, the list of angel investors backing the project and quantum stance to implement industry compliance standards Standards only goes to further disprove these claims. How to purchase and store quantum? Quantum can be bought on various exchanges such as Korean based Coin1, Bitrex, and Binance. Quantum has an OCX, Windows, and Linux wallet available for download. Quantum plans to release a mobile wallet app soon, which will allow you not to only store your coins, but will also allow you to stake your coins from the wallet. It's also possible to stake your coins easily. To do so, simply download the Quantum Core wallet and sync to the network. Your coins will automatically stake as long as you keep the blockchain up to date. Conclusion 
Qudom is an innovative platform with a huge potential reach of clients. It's pushed to implement decentralized mobile apps in addition to being the world's first proof-of-stake smart contract platform, is unique and gives the program a potential edge over its competition. Thanks to its compatibility with the Ethereum and Bitcoin getaway, having an experienced development team, an impressive list of investors and capital, Qutum is an interesting position and has all of the ingredients to be successful. But in this ever-changing world of cryptocurrencies and with serious competitors as it heals, whether or not Qutum is actually able to succeed at what they have set out to do is anyone's guess. That being said, they have laid the groundwork for big things moving forward. Qtum is definitely worth keeping your eye on. So, my friends, that was all for today, but of course, for more details, so, my friends, that was all for today, but of course, if you want to know more details about Quantum, you can simply use the links below this video. There you will find all the important information you need. Stay with us and have a good day. Bye!